What's up guys, I'm Spencer from Church Video School here at a church in Missouri. We just did a big install at, and a huge part of this install, in fact, almost two days of our project was running cable. We bought RG6 solid copper core coaxial cable rated at three gigahertz, which is good enough for 3G SDI. It wasn't labeled 3G SDI, so we saved some money on it. It also came with a little bit of fear that it wouldn't work, but it did work up to well, we had our longest run is about 230 feet. So if you're looking for stuff like this, you can find it in bulk a lot of places. This video, we're gonna show you how to cap your own SDI cables by buying cheap dollar connectors, putting them on the ends of bulk cables so you can pull your own cable cheaply and efficiently or just make your own and save some money. So our friend Austin, who did this with me, is gonna show us how it's done. All right, everyone, I'm gonna show you how to cap your own SDI cable. First of all, you want to take your stripper and you want to put it at 59 and 6 right there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the cable in there and you want to try to make it flush with the outside of the stripper. Once it's in there, you're going to rotate it around uh, probably about four or five times and then you're going to pull it off like that. And sometimes it gets a little bit stuck, so you're just going to rotate that off. Make sure that this gold foil comes off so that it reveals your copper tip. And the cool thing about these BNC compression connectors is that you can also use it as a measuring device. So you want your copper wire to be roughly the width of this band right here. And as you can see, we've got about that. And then we want a little bit of the gold foil right here. Uh, we're going to pull it back so that it doesn't get stuck as we put this thing on. OK, good enough. So now you're going to insert your copper wire into the back of this BNC compression connector. You're going to try to fit it on. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get that copper wire into the, the hole there. Sometimes it gets a little bent, so you're just going to bend it back. Okay, and as you put it down, you're going to feel it sink in a little bit, and that means that the copper wire is in that hole. And so you're going to give it just a couple more twists just to make sure that it's on as tight as it can go. And then you're going to take your compression tool, take the, take the end of your uh, compression cap, you're going to put it in there, make sure that it actually fits. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze so that this little black ring right here basically disappears. Pull it out, give it a little bit of a pull test, and there we go, you're good to go.